G'day, Luke Norman here from the Sturt Football Club. Um, so far this year, we've um, been going reasonably well. We're sitting five and two in third third spot. Uh, pretty happy with ourselves, although we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. Uh, we just think that if we can stay in touch with the top three, that it'll give us every opportunity towards the end of the year when we get to finals to um, have that double chance. So it's really important. I think the boys have been training really hard, um, playing hard. Uh, the new structures and game style that we've brought in, seem, the boys seem to be picking that up very well and implementing it on game day. Um, on the weekend against South Adelaide, I thought that um, yeah, we were good for two quarters. I wasn't happy with our first and our last quarter. Uh, I thought we played better the week before against Eagles. Um, probably around about the same result, but I just think Eagles are a, a fair bit better side. And we started putting a lot of our structures and, and um, game style really started working. We could see them actually uh, implementing them on the field. So on the weekend, uh, our back line was very solid. They uh, led by Toby Thurston's. I thought Toby, he was best on ground for us. I thought he was fantastic. He's come out with a, a great attitude this year and um, really keen to play football for the Sturt Footy Club, which is great. Uh, Michael Code gave us plenty of runoff half back, and also Scooter McGlone and Brody Martin. Not to mention, uh, not to forget Nick Walk. Nick Walk did a fantastic job. He only probably picked up eight or nine possessions, but was um, fantastic all day. Uh, stood Ben Warren and kept him to one goal, which we thought was um, was outstanding. So he got third best. Um, our midfield worked really hard. Uh, Jade Sheedy and Tristan Gum both got tagged. Uh, Scooter McGlone also got tagged off a half-back flank as well, but uh, I thought they worked really hard. They spread well from the contest and, and found a little bit of ball. It was a real good uh, team effort through the midfield. No one had any real high numbers. Um, they just really worked hard to um, work together and, and work as a team. We probably broke down a little bit across our half-forward. We do have a new structure up, up in our forward line. Our half-forward uh, probably didn't work as well as we wanted it to on the weekend, but the pressure up forward and, and the way the boys used their body and, um, and were committed to the contest was fantastic. And the big fella, Chambo, could have kicked uh, six or seven, but ended up with five goals for now. He's in a bit of form at the moment, which is, which is fantastic. Uh, I think the club's in a bit of form at the minute. We're coming into this week, the bye, the state game, and we'll look to freshen the boys up and um, um, do some different things with them. We'll play soccer tonight. Um, do some weights during the week and try and get them off their feet and then next week we'll get, get right into it. We are looking forward to playing Norwood. Uh, we know that Norwood are, are two and four or two and five at the minute. Um, if we beat them on Friday night that would probably be uh, the end of their season so they'll be coming out on that Friday night pretty fired up I'd reckon to uh, have a crack at us. So look we're, um, we're trying to keep a lid on it and we are keeping a lid on it. We know that uh, we still haven't played Centrals yet and we've still got to get through um, Glenelg, they're our hoodoo side. So uh, the next four games that we've got, we've got Norwood, Centrals, Glenelg and North. And uh, I think uh, after, after that block of four games we'll know exactly where we are. So um, thanks for supporting us, thanks for uh, being a sponsor, a member or just a supporter and uh, look forward to seeing you at the game. Thank you.